So our next tutorial is for ReadLine. It's a Chrome extension that allows the reader to highlight the desired text and then the ReadLine will bring the words individually into the center of the screen for the text to be read one word at a time. The speed of the progression of the words can be customized. Now you will have to try this out to see if it'll be useful for your students that um, have some challenges with reading. I thought it was really interesting when I was going through and trying these different extensions so um, We'll go ahead and get started. Here is the link. So read line, reading made fast and simple. Um, let me show you the video here real quick and then I'll we'll load it too. They're on Wikipedia and they're showing you how you can highlight an area and then it'll read the words one at a time. Now it's actually made for speed reading. That's how it was initially designed. So you actually focus your vision on the red dot and then it's supposed to increase the speed of your reading. But I don't know, I just thought it might have some interesting applications for um, students that might struggle with reading. So let's load it and let's do what they did. We'll go to Wikipedia. And why don't we just search for Ohio? Oops. Okay, so let's click. Let me move this over a little bit. Here it is. Read line. Save all options. Okay, and we're going to highlight our area. Hmm, maybe we have to turn off Beeline Reader. So this next tutorial is on ReadLine. ReadLine is a Chrome extension and what it does is it allows the reader to highlight the desired text. Then the ReadLine will bring the words individually into the center of the screen for the text to be read one word at a time. The speed of the progression of the words can be customized. Now originally the intent of this extension was to increase um, the speed of someone's reading or to work on speed reading. But for your students who struggle with reading, this may be um, a way to slow the text down. If they have attention issues, it may be a way for them not to get lost in the entire text on the screen. So here's the link. Here's the description from the Chrome Web Store, and they do have another tutorial here. I already have it loaded, so I'm going to come over here. I brought up a Wikipedia page on Ohio, and I, I'm going to jump over to the Beeline for a second and show you options. So I went in and I customized my settings, so I already brought the speed of the words per minute down. But you can see you can bring them up very fast. I'll show you both. But here I'm thinking for a struggling reader, I'm going to slow the words down. Let's just do 80. Um, show the progress bar, highlight, um, then I can customize the shadow size. You can play around with that. Um, I like the auto start, so as soon as I highlight the text, it'll start. I had trouble with some of the other ways um, to get it to read. so. What I'm going to do is I'm going to highlight the first paragraph here. Oopsie. And you can see. Now the only thing is it doesn't have voice output. But it presents the words from the sentence one at a time. Now you'll notice that the central letter is colored red. Now what, you're, what you intend to do is, is tell the student to concentrate on that red letter when they're reading and then eventually you know again as they've designed this program by concentrating on the on the red um, that will then further increase their reading speed so I'm just gonna click out of this and uh, what if we just go down a little bit farther I'm gonna change the settings again options so you can see the difference and let's do this we'll just change everything Okay, so just to see a difference in how you can customize it. Okay, so much faster.
But again, the different options that if you think this might help a student with a reading disability, um, it's, it's again, it's another tool in the box, something to play around with. Now, what I did find is when I was using this, I had to turn off um, the B-line reader. So you see B-line reader is gone. In order to use um, this extension, I had to turn off the other extensions because B-line seems to work just kind of all the time. It's not like open dyslexic where I can turn it on and off, at least from my experience. Um, um, there might be a way, but I haven't discovered it yet. So if you have, that's great. Um, anyway, that is... Um, the next tutorial is coming up.